Every now and then, an actor comes along who takes over Hollywood like no other, and guess what? Chuck Norris is certainly one of them. After starring in almost 45 movies, Chuck Norris has become one of the most popular badass actors in the world. You'd better not get into an argument with this guy, because he'll definitely shut you up. In this video, we're taking a look at the top 10 Chuck Norris movies of all time. We've got a bigger problem. This Luis Camacho's crazy. Number 10, Hero and the Terror. In true Chuck Norris fashion, this one is a martial arts flick that is sure to satisfy any enthusiast of the sport. Starring Norris as the tough but lovable cop Danny O'Brien, who manages to capture a serial killer named Terror, played by Jack O'Halloran, earning himself the nickname of Hero. However, three years down the line, just as Denny is moving on in his life, about to become a dad, Terror escapes, and the cop knows he has to put an end to the villain's killing spree once again. Hero and the Terror manages to build up and retain constant suspense throughout the duration of the film. And while the film is an action-packed thriller with tons of blood, violence, and of course, martial arts, Hero and the Terror definitely has some humorous and even heartfelt moments that make this film worth the watch. Number 9, Invasion USA. You should let me kill him when I had the chance. Now is your problem. Another action film that is regarded as one of Chuck Norris's best works is Invasion USA, where the actor played the role of a CIA agent named Matt Hunter who has to protect the country from a spy invasion from Russia. While the film wasn't really appreciated by the critics, fans absolutely loved all the action sequences with something getting shot or blown up every other second. Nico was easy. Now it's your turn. Norris is effortless in the film and has no problem playing an over-the-top, one-man army who takes the law into his own hands and comes to the rescue of his country. Invasion USA was given a $12 million budget, twice of what Norris movies had normally gotten before, with the actor getting paid almost $2 million for doing what he does best. The film features a fair bit of martial arts and debuted at number one at the box office back in 1985. Number eight, Missing in Action. For killing assholes like you. The ultimate hero film, Missing in Action, features Chuck Norris playing the character of Colonel Braddock, a Vietnamese war prisoner who manages to escape his camp. But 10 years later, he realizes his responsibility and launches a mission to hunt down the camp he escaped from to release all the other American soldiers who have been held captive there. Featuring brilliant action sequences and an emotional packed storyline, Missing in Action has been one of Chuck Norris's biggest box office hits. If you're looking for a typical 80s action thriller featuring gunfights in the jungle, Missing in Action is definitely the perfect choice. No! Number 7, Silent Rage. That would be the biggest mistake you made all day. Now get out of town. If there's one thing that Chuck Norris knows how to do best, it's crime films. Silent Rage combines action and crime with science fiction and slasher to bring you one of the highest grossing films that Norris has ever starred in. The film revolves around Sheriff Dan Stevens, played by Norris, who has to put an end to the killing spree of a maniacal man named John Kirby. However, the catch is that Kirby has been a part of an unethical science experiment that has granted him self-healing abilities, making it near impossible to stop him. The film allows Norris to step away from the martial arts genre and try something a bit more experimental, which is why it went on to gain cult status among his fans. This film was also released during the golden age of the slasher era, giving the actor a chance to tap into a brand new market, and pretty successful too. You sure give up easy. Yeah, I do. Number 6, An Eye for an Eye. Who are they, Tony? I can't tell you know that, I can't! In this action thriller, Chuck Norris plays the character of an undercover narcotics cop named Sean Kane, who sets out to avenge the death of his partner, who was murdered by a group of Asian drug dealers. While an eye for an eye is your typical revenge flick, what really sets it apart is the acting and the action sequences by Norris. Combining his martial arts skills with his unapologetic attitude, Chuck Norris makes for a pretty believable cop, cementing his image as an expert of the martial arts genre. Without any side plots to distract us from all the action, An Eye for an Eye is a classic, no-nonsense Chuck Norris film that's fun enough to watch with the whole family. There's a trap from start to finish. Someone set us up. Who? I don't know yet. I don't want to find out. Number 5, Forced Vengeance. Hey, teach me how to play. Get lost! <laughs> Doesn't feel good, does it? 
In this true good guy gone bad story, Chuck Norris plays the role of a casino security guard, Josh Randall, who is out for blood when his employer and friend Sam, along with his son David, is killed by their competitor gangster, Stan Ramondi, played by Michael Cavanaugh, after Sam refuses to merge their businesses. The film features non-stop action in a fast-paced setting where a lot is constantly at stake, building tension till the very climax of the film. Chuck Norris is seen taking on tons of opponents, throwing punches, kicks, and knocks in every direction. So it's safe to say that for any Norris fan, this film is a treat to watch with its high budget production. Where should you go? Oh, I have a million dollars in here. I have to take what? <laughs> Number four, the Delta Force. What happens when a plane gets hijacked by terrorists? The Delta Force goes to the rescue. In this film, based on real-life encounters of the U.S. Army Delta Force, Chuck Norris plays the character of Major Scott McCoy, the co-leader of the Delta Force unit, alongside the brilliant Lee Marvin, who plays Colonel Nick Alexander, the commander for Delta Force. Norris was at the peak of his career when this film was released, so safe to say that it's regarded as one of his finest works. With the right balance of suspense and action, the Delta Force makes for a great watch over and over again, with a plot that never gets tiring. Following a realistic storyline with tension scattered all around, the film was followed up with two sequels because of its initial success. We don't move until the women and children are away and safe. Acknowledge section two. Number three, Code of Silence. Okay, everybody, get ready. Directed by Andrew Davis, Code of Silence lets Norris step out of his comfort zone for a while and try something new. Set right in the middle of a crime-ridden Chicago, this film features the actor as Sergeant Eddie Cusack. The film shows Cusack having trouble making friends with his colleagues on the police force because of his testimony against a fellow cop who had killed an unarmed teenager. With nobody on the force willing to help him, Cusack is caught in the middle of a drug war and has to figure out how to solve things before it's too late. The film debuted at number one when it was released and managed to make $9.5 million by the end of the year. While Code of Silence does feature a lot of action and martial arts, the plot is what really makes it stand out from the rest of the actor's work. Instead of just plain, predictable action, Davis delivers suspense and thrill right till the very end, making Code of Silence one of the smartest and most memorable action films of the 80s. <laughs> Number 2, Lone Wolf McQuaid. Come on, tough guy. <laughs> After working with director Steve Carver for An Eye for an Eye, Norris paired up with him again and gave us Lone Wolf McQuaid, one of the most celebrated films in the actor's career. The film revolves around Texas Ranger J.J. McQuaid, who wages war against a drug lord, swearing to take him down or die trying. However, the twist in the story is the fact that both the drug lord and the ranger fall for the same woman, leading to a lot more tension in the film. Featuring some pretty hardcore action scenes, which Norris refused to use a stunt double for, the film is a treat for any action enthusiast. The drug lord, Raleigh Wilkes, is played by David Carradine, who has impeccable chemistry with Norris, and together, the two manage to deliver a final showdown that is sure to go down in action film history. Our number one pick is The Way of the Dragon. Combining the forces of two legends in the world of martial arts, Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris, The Way of the Dragon is known as the masterpiece with which Norris made his debut on the big screen. While Norris isn't the lead actor of the movie, he manages to dominate the screen, playing the role of Colt, a world-class martial artist, who has the final showdown with Bruce Lee's character, Tang Lung, in one of the most memorable scenes in film history. Despite this being Norris's first role on the big screen, he managed to leave the audience stunned with his powerful dialogue delivery and, of course, his visceral martial arts moves, especially when it came to the iconic final fight between him and Lee set inside the Rome Coliseum. With the right amount of humor and emotion, combined with all the makings of a true action flick, The Way of the Dragon is rated 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb and is one of the most monumental films in the martial arts genre and a defining moment in Chuck Norris's career. Do you agree with our list? Be sure to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.